Did you catch that? Let's go over that clip again to see what happened. We can see Omar runs up to Dee Dee with a white Pikmin in front. Normally, this is the Pikmin used for smashes and aerials, but when he turns to do a raw back air, the purple Pikmin suddenly jumps the queue. As the title may suggest, this isn't a hack, glitch or cheat, this is an online lag, and whether this is an example of Omar being broken as a character, or broken in terms of code, I leave that judgement down to you. At the start of Smash Ultimate, a mechanic was discovered that allows you to cancel any grounded attack into an aerial option. Attack cancelling, as it was dubbed, was hyped up to be a game changer, akin to perfect pivoting in Smash 4. As time has gone on however, this notion has been dropped as not many characters have been shown to benefit from the extra spacing and timing attack cancel provides. Omar benefits uniquely when his smash attacks are cancelled, which is what we'll be going over today. Cancelling Omar's smash attacks gives you greater control over his Pikmin lineup and allows for faster lineup optimization. It's beyond the scope of this video to teach you how to attack cancel, so I'll leave a video by my Smash Corner who first popularised the tech. We're also going to be delving into more complex, character specific ideas, so if you're an Omar player and don't understand the basic concepts of Pikmin management, I'll leave a good video by Myron who goes over the basics pretty well. It may date to the Smash 4 era, but the concepts regarding Pikmin management have remained largely unchanged. Before we move on however, here's my control setup. It's not optimal, but it's what I prefer. I use a Pro Controller over the GameCube controller because I find the extra shoulder button comes in handy for some tech we'll be coming across later. People that play on a GameCube controller may find some of this tech quite difficult to pull off. If the GCC player does figure out a workaround, I will post an update video. With all that being said and done, let's get started. Because forward smash and up smash use one Pikmin in their execution, and down smash uses two, there are two variations of smash cancelling that we need to look at. Cancelling with up smash is preferred over forward smash because up smash can be done at any point during Olimar's run. When up smash or forward smash is cancelled into a Pikmin aerial, the Pikmin in the middle of Olimar's queue will be accessed instead. This is because the Pikmin order changes on the frame Olmar begins charging his smash attack. You notice that the Pikmin in the back is now sitting at the front. This is because by up smash cancelling into a Pikmin aerial, we've moved the queue two iterations instead of one, like we've just used a down smash. And when down smash is cancelled into a Pikmin aerial, the Pikmin in the back of the queue will be accessed. Because the front two Pikmin are accessed for down smash, this means the Pikmin order is unchanged. It's important to note however that smash cancelled aerials can only be done out of a short hop, and because you have to charge an attack before cancelling into them, they'll always come out a frame or two slower than regular aerials. Nonetheless, the contribution this makes to Olimar's game plan is invaluable. You've already seen how attack cancelling can be used to cancel into other Pikmin in your queue, but let's go a little bit further and discuss how this system works. In Brawl and Smash 4, Olimar's lineup was a circular queue. The first Pikmin in would be the first Pikmin used for an aerial, before leaving and rejoining the queue at the end. In these games, only the first Pikmin in the queue could be accessed for an aerial. This could be considered a hindrance, but Smash cancelling removes this. It means a Pikmin can always be played to its strengths if need be. A white Pikmin can always be tossed at the opponent, but what if he's in range to hit you? What if you're in the corner? Sure, it'll get the job done by getting them off you, but it doesn't really pack much of a punch due to the reduced damage and hit stun. But if you had, say, a purple in your queue, you could smash cancel into that instead. An application of down smash cancelled aerials is using a down smash cancelled up air after an up smash. You attack as if you have two of the same coloured pigment, yet you maintain colour diversity. You may have noticed a distinct lack of side B discussion in this video, up to now. In addition to being able to cancel into your aerials, you can also smash cancel into your special moves. 
This is where the extra shoulder button on the Pro Controller comes in very handy. Smash cancelling into your specials is done like smash cancelling, only inputting special after the jump and smash inputs. Input left or right to get side B. If you're too early with this input, you may accidentally macro cancel into an up special instead. Why is smash cancelling into side B so important? Well, it's important to remember that disregarding Whistle, Side B is Olimar's fastest option to shuffle his Pikmin. It's generally regarded as a better option than Whistle because you're throwing out a threat. Nobody wants a Pikmin lashed onto them, so we'll always force an aggressive option, which is what Olimar wants. Smash cancelling means you can be selective with which Pikmin you keep and which Pikmin you ditch. Whites and purples are always ready to be tossed. Got red in the back you don't need? You can just throw it away. The amount of control you have via smash cancelling means that routes to acquiring your desired squad are made much more efficient. It's important to remember that the visual cue for smash cancelled aerials is very subtle. Your opponent has to be actively watching your lineup to know that your blue in the back is now at the front thanks to an up smash cancelled fair. Compare it to having to keep a mental note of Snake C4. One of the most difficult parts about fighting against Snake and Olimar is keeping track of their assets as well as your opponent does. Now of course Olimar is no legendary mercenary, but he does have a few tricky things up his sleeve that can cause a lot of what the fuck moments. Recall that at Pound, Myron used a decent blue to grab JW and upthrow him for the game. This took the commentators and the audience by surprise. Minute. What oh, the? What? Yeah, what? How did you grab? What? what? How did he grab him? Oh, from he's smirking. He knows what he did. He got away with that. That was highway robbery. Decents aren't the extent to which Almar can deceive his opponent. However, oh no, we can take his trickery much further. Remember how I said that the pigment order changes the frame Almar begins charging a smash attack? This means that when you smash cancel into an air, up B or air dodge you actually shuffle your Pikmin along one iteration, as if you've used a regular aerial. If you down smash cancel, you move it along two iterations. These options allow you to deceptively switch up your queue. Finally, any of the applications discussed in this video can be used to organise your other Pikmin for a future use. An example would be sending a red or blue Pikmin to the front for grab combos or an up throw respectively. Smash cancelling rewards the Olimar player for spur of the moment creativity. It takes an already fluid and dynamic part of Olimar's design and cranks it up to 11. The applications shown off in this video are not the limitations of this tech. Managing your Pikmin with Smash Cancels is just as important as using conventional methods, so you shouldn't rely too heavily on one or the other. I hope this video has got a lot of people thinking, all of our mains or otherwise, and it would be great to see top level players make use of this tech in the future. That's all from me. Before the video ends, here's a couple of people that I would like to thank. At first I'd like to thank Georgers for helping with the audio for this video. He's a sound design student and he's our local's best player. I'd also like to thank Lou for being my go-to Vegas troubleshooter and a volunteer for the test audience. He draws a lot of good stuff, so I think you should check him out. This is my first venture in professional video editing, quote unquote. So I'd like to thank you, the viewer, for watching this video. If you like what I do, then of course, stick around for more content in the future. But again, that's all from you.
you stupid son of a-